What's up guys, it's Big Bear 77 back at you with a real quick uh, weight loss journey video. I had like other videos planned for tonight, but this is the video that's going to actually take its place and it's a video that I feel needs to be said. My three steps to getting on this weight loss journey and being successful with it. And now I want to, before I get started in this video, let you guys know I am no doctor. I am no physical trainer. These are the steps that have worked for me. Uh, they may not work for you. Uh, these are just steps that I took in the process and have worked thus far for me. So let's get into the video. Hey guys. Okay, I have three steps. Step number one. It was very simple for me. I had a, I had a problem. You guys remember a video I did, I think, last week where I said that I was addicted to food. And a lot of people, you know, there were some people that were like, well, addiction to food is it really a thing. And I've, I've had that before. And it is. Addiction to food is a thing. Um, and I was very addicted to food. My first step towards that is admitting that I had an addiction to food. I needed a change. And, you know, you hear the old saying, everybody says it. Uh, first step to recovery is uh, admitting that you have a problem. That stands true in this case for me. I had to admit that I had a problem. That no one else made me fat. No one else made me overweight. No one else made me unhealthy. But my choices. But the stuff I was feeding myself. So I had to make a, a, a choice to, in the right direction. And I had to admit I had a problem. I had to accept I had a problem. And before I could even move on, before I could even move forward, before I could even start this journey. I have done many, many weight loss journeys, diets, whatever you want to call them in the past. Lifestyles, I have tried them. But the problem I always had, I failed. Why? Well, I've, I've kind of weighed the two options. I've lost more weight in this weight loss journey in a year than I did probably all those other weight loss journeys combined. Why? Because finally, I admitted I have a problem. No one else's problem, my problem. So that's your first step. Well, my first step at least, was I had to admit that I had issues, that I had problems, that I had to work through. Step two, just like step one, I had to make a choice. Uh, step one, I had to make a choice that to tell myself I had an issue. Step two, I had to make a choice to do something about it. I had to choose to make the right steps forward to do something about it. I had to choose to take action. And that's step number two, action. Because you got to step in and you got to take action. And if you don't step in, take action, no one else is going to do it for you. Because guess what? You can do whatever you want. And I'm going to use uh, Bergie Love for an example here. Uh, Bergie Love, my wife, she was heavy smoker. Heavy smoker. I was a smoker. I gave it up. I wanted her to give it up. But every time she gave it up because I was asking her to, she always ended up going back over and over and over again. You know when she finally, finally officially gave it up and she's been away from cigarettes for a long time now was when she made the choice to take action and give it up herself. One day she's standing out on the back porch with her cigarettes in hand and she made the choice. She was done. And she hasn't picked up another cigarette since because she made the choice. Not me and not my family and not her family, not our friends. Because see, we could force someone to do it they're going to fall back into it a lot of times. Nine out of ten times, they're going to go back to what they were doing. But when they make the choice, it sticks a little more than when we make the choice. So number two, make a choice. Number two, take action. And number three, after you figured out that you have a problem, that you have the issue, after you made your choice that you're going to take action towards this issue, number three is, Put the action to practice. Put the action to work. Do the research. And I urge you to do the research. Don't let the people here tell you. Don't let me tell you what will work for you. Because trust me, not everything will work for everybody. There are certain things that I've tried that people say they have success on and I never did. So, 
you make the research, you search it up, you find out what works for you, and you put it to practice. And by putting it into practice, that means giving up your old lifestyle, giving up your old uh, practices. You know, if 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 eating uh, candy was a was a bad habit of yours, you got to make the a- take the action and actually do it. You see, t- deciding, making the choice to take an action and actually taking the action are two different things. Because I can make a choice right now to quit YouTube, but if I don't quit YouTube, then I never took. Uh, I never accepted that action and I stuck with it. Now, that's just an uh, example. I'm not leaving YouTube. Calm down, calm down. But no, you could do whatever, anything in your life. You could you could say tomorrow that you're going to give up drinking. You're going to give up drugs. You're going to give up whatever it may be. Food, in my case. But if you never take the action, if you never take the step forward and say, okay, now I'm going to practice this, what I just made the choice for, then all that choice is just a choice. That's all it is. And it's a false choice, not a true choice, if you catch what I'm saying. So, put it into practice. Go forward. Start subscribing to YouTube channels. If you're on a, if you're on a weight loss journey like I am, and you're on a certain, uh, certain lifestyle, I call them lifestyles. Uh, some people call them diets. Find other people that are on the same one. Start subscribing to them. Especially the ones that share recipes. Trust me, that has helped me a long way. <laughs> Because you could get old real quick. Start subscribing to those people. Start talking to them. They encourage you. And you won't believe how much they will encourage you. I've been encouraged by a lot of you who are doing the same stuff I'm doing. So, subscribe to those people. So, um, yeah. Well, that was my three steps to a better, healthier Big Bear. I don't know how you guys are, are processing your steps. If you're on a weight loss journey, let me know down below so I could so I could keep in contact with you. Not to encourage you to do what I do, but to encourage you along your journey. To leave encouraging words to you, inspiration to you, uh, be a motivation maybe. That's what I want to be. That's what I want to use this YouTube channel for. That's one of the reasons why I've been fighting here recently to build the numbers so I can reach more people. Because I I was there. I am there. I struggle with encouragement. I struggle with inspiration. But I want to be that light to you guys. That inspiration to you guys. I love you all. God bless you. This is Big Bear. Catch you all in the next one.